Hey guys, RC here, back. Episode 12, The Dirty Dozen, uh, FM19, of course, uh, if you were unaware. And welcome to the month of September. Uh, anyway, let's get you guys caught up. We have uh, the group stage today, so let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, let's see, we have what? Eight groups, so... Uh, we are the winner of qualifying round one, so we are seated number one, which probably not good. Where's all the other teams at? I don't know what that means. I don't know where all those clubs went that just, I clicked on it and nobody showed up. Probably because I wasn't worthy of a number one seed. I got booted out. All right. So here we are. So we're we're one of eight clubs left. All right. Not that one. Uh, the winner. Okay. So we're in with a qualifying winner. But we're in with Olympia from Paraguay and SPO from Brazil. All right. Oof. Racing. Oh, there's Santos. Santos makes an appearance. And you know who's not in there? Newell's is not in there. <gasps> Strange. All right, so we're in group B, and we're going to wait to see who our fourth person is. Uh, let's see. Olympia is in the Division of Honor in Paraguay. Uh, da, da, da. Don't know what league that's in. Uh, I mean, I don't know what uh, what level that's in. Anyway, uh, and then SPO is from the Brazilian First Division, so we are probably not going to be favored. All right, so that's what's going to be going on there. Let's check that out real quick. These will start in March. Okay, handed a tough group, so they they agree with me. Uh, if we take a look at schedules, well, March is here, so the, the games have not been announced yet, which is fine. Uh, we'll get to this before the match. I, I want to put that off. We also want to do transfers. Um, let me look at uh, job security. Okay, so the jobs are gone. They've hired them. I had put in, uh, I had expressed interest and put in an application for two jobs. One was I don't think it was here. I think it was maybe it was. Let's see. Season preview. Yeah, BAH. BAH is the club, uh, a club that I had uh, put in a uh, contract for, uh, an application. My bad. I think. No, that can't be right. No, it wasn't them. I forget. See, now I don't remember. Okay, season preview, BTF, that's it, because they were promoted. That was the club from Brazil I had put an offer in. So they got promoted from third division to second division. They were only two-star, so I was like, eh, maybe, you know, maybe they'll take a gamble. Uh, so Kleber, he's been on the job one day. I think I would have been just as good as that guy. The guy they lost, he left. I don't know if he was looking for, uh, just looking to get a better gig, but he has not signed a contract. Actually, a pretty good manager. So I, you know, but he, he won silverware and then bailed. So, uh, and then now he's unemployed. So that was one club. Uh, yeah, that they didn't even accept my offer. And uh, so that was disappointing. And then the other job was in Argentina. 
but it was not the Superliga. It was Primera B. I am pretty sure. I should have wrote it down, but uh, anyway, one one of them I made it. I never got an interview, but at least my application was considered. The other one was uh, just laughed at. Uh, Arsenal was another one I was going to look at. But after those two, and strangely enough, the uh, board came back and said, hey, we understand that he has uh, ambition and you know desire to advance his career, so we're not going to stand in his way. Uh, we, I was actually approved during the offseason for my next coaching badge. So uh, if we take a look at that... Uh, I am working on my pro license, so that should get me up into the two bar, I think. We'll see. And, uh, you know, anyway, I think we're just settling in here for another year to uh, hopefully do well, uh, get some uh, continental soccer, uh, continental football. My bad, I'm sorry. And uh, anyway, so that's what's going on there. I wanted to show you guys the draw. So let me get up to match day, and then we'll catch up on. Uh, I need to release this guy. Well, he's going to be gone into the month. It's weird that the season starts before, and then we'll have players on our club that will then be out of contract in two weeks. Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, let's get up to uh, match day, and then I'll be back. Match day. All right, let's get you guys caught up with what's been going on. So we had two friendlies this year, not just one. We played El Torno, got a 3-1 win. Uh, Fernando Juarez scored a brace. Luna Diali scored as well. And then against uh, Tiki Paya, a uh, 4-1 win. Luna Diali scored a quick goal. Oviedo scored in the fifth minute to put us up 2-0. Sergio Adrian from the midfield. And uh, one of our young players, you may remember this kid, uh, he was our big youth uh, uh, youth intake last year. Uh, Jagichi, Jig I think, scored on a penalty in the 82nd minute for his first goal for the club. Not in a match, of course, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. We showed you guys the draw, so we're good there. Let's take a look at the transfers. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. All right, we have a couple of guys joining February 1st. I don't, are they going to be on our list? Uh, Alan Siles. No. All right, so let's look at them first. Uh, let's see. Alan Siles joins us. He's a central defender. He's coming from Blooming. Uh, center back, 22 years old. He's got one cap for Bolivia, 12 under 20 caps. Decent physicals. He's got some strength. He's 6'1". Good positioning, solid tackling, heading is great, marking. I think he'll be uh, a good a tribute in the back line. Uh, so he'll be joining February 1st in about a week and a half. Uh, Nicholas Landa is a 26-year-old transfer coming in from the strongest, also joining February 1st. Uh, that's because for whatever weird reason, the season starts today, January 22nd, but end of season for the for last year is not till january 31st makes no sense but that's okay uh, another center back 14 pace 14 acceleration i'm thinking this guy is going to probably be a starter for us uh solid uh technicals for the defensive center attributes uh he's also he's got a, a one under 20 cap uh for bolivia as well uh, let's see. Carlos Rivera is a deep line playmaker. He'll be joining in a week. Uh, so, and we'll go over finances in a minute as well. So he's got really good physicals, first touch passing, just real solid. Uh, so he can play in that playmaker and he can also play, uh, in that defensive mid distribution position. So he can play two spots and, uh, he's going to be making 34 and a half, uh, Limbert Fernandez, you probably remember we had him on loan last year. Well, we've gone ahead and signed him, 22 years old, 9 under 20 caps, real solid. Uh, I was real happy with him last year. Only one goal, two player of the matches, but he was solid. So uh, he's going to be, uh, he's still with us from the loan, but he uh, joins us permanently on February 1st. 
Uh, we've got a couple of guys, a couple of wingers uh, that we have contracts out to. We'll see if they get accepted. Uh, I believe this is a loan, and that is a buy from what I remember. Uh, Hugo Mesa, I he, he was our young loanee last year from Wilsterman. I was going to let him go because he was going to be fourth, maybe fifth in the striker rotation. We're only playing one up top. But we sold one of our strikers uh, literally just two days ago. So I went back and I said, yeah, let's go ahead and extend his loan. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look at the real stuff, though. Uh, Hiro Queller, our star keeper. We got an offer uh, from Palestino in Chile, and he wanted to go He because it was the Premier League, the, the, the top league in Chile. Uh, I think they're number six, and I know it's Chile, but I, Chile, whatever. Um, I think they're number six in the nation, in, in the continent. So it was a move up for him. He wanted to go. So we, we went ahead and took the offer, and uh, it's going to be worth $50,000. Uh, he was worth $35,000, so we made a nice little profit on it. Uh, Dennis Barano, he is the striker winger that we just let go for $20,000. I had him on uh, transfer listed. I went ahead and extended his contract for another year just because I didn't have any real other options at left wing, which is why I just showed you I've got a couple of left wing options out. But he is 30. He's not great. You know, he wasn't horrible for his last year. I mean, he scored nine goals. Um, but... You know, at the you know this is the age where I kind of start moving off of players at 30 plus uh, range, unless they're just really really good or they're a legend that I'm just in love with. So uh, we sold out for 56 or you know potentially 70 thousand uh, dollars. We brought in Jose Estrada on a free. He's going to be our new keeper. Uh, he's not the greatest. He is Colombian, which uh, fills our sixth role because we let uh, who was the other guy we let go. Um, he was one of our right winger. Um, God dog it. Why can't I think of his name? He was out of contract anyway. He played a lot last year, but, uh, so we had a, we had one foreign spot. I cannot find any Bolivian keepers that were worth a damn. I think I'm going to still look around for somebody and we may have to spend some money to just to buy out a contract, but, um, he was serviceable at least. And so that's what I was looking for. Uh, Sebastian Melgar comes in on loan from Union FC. He is a striker, uh, so he has really, you know, pretty good physicals, solid finishing, first touch. He's going to play a lot. Uh, he's going to be up top for us uh, regularly. Uh, Ronaldo Montero comes in for twelve thousand dollars. We actually spent some money. Uh, he's another striker and winger. So he's right-footed. He could play right wing. He could play an inside forward if we were forced to put him on the left. He can play a striker, very pacey, acceleration, dribbling, first touch, finishing, uh, all the things. So he's he's uh, another good fit for us. And then uh, Donald Daniel Ribera comes in on loan from Blooming. Uh, midfielder, defensive mid, solid physicals, good marking, good tackling, can't pass. So he's more in a ball winning position not a playmaker so we'll rely on him to be more of a defensive presence in the middle and then get the ball over to somebody like fernandez to distribute the ball around uh so that's our moves uh let's see who was the other guy as soon as i see it i'm going to recognize the the freaking um in filters oh here we go released players elizeche that's it so we let him go uh he was uruguayan you know he had just lost a little bit in the pace he was solid for us but you know again i was looking to upgrade so talking about finances we saw last right at the end of last season, last episode, that our payroll jumped up about a million dollars. It gave us a good transfer budget chunk. Problem is, I'm not going to spend all that. The reason we got that is because we picked up th $3 million or something like that for, uh, yeah, we went from 818 
and now we're at 4.7. I think we picked up like $3 million for uh, being in the Copa Libertaria this year. Uh, so we need to add some depth because we're going to have more games. We need to add some talent to be competitive. But at the same token, if we're not back in Copa next year, I don't want to have to end up selling a ton of players to, to you know have a fire sale to cut uh, payroll. So I'm not going to go gung-ho. Uh, we've got a few more people coming in, so we're we're going to be right up around 1.1, 1.2 million dollars, which is about 400,000 more than last season, where we were losing money. Uh, we did get about 400 more season tickets sold this year. So anyway, that is what we're going to do. So we have a few more guys that are still a little over about eight days away from joining the club. We're on the road against Destroyers, newly promoted. We are favorites. So they uh, they got sent down and then back last year and then back up. All right, so Melgar, he's a Loney. Fernandez is classified as a Leone. Oh, Leone. Tia Leone. She's hot. Uh, a Loney. A Loney, not a Leone. Uh, Adrian and Juarez anchoring the middle. Boy, it was rough being without them last year. Luna Diali on the right, Bengalea on the left, uh, 22 years old. I don't mind him. He's got some good skills, uh, so we'll see if he develops. But I do want to bring in some more people there. Uh, Chica Oviedo on the wings, in the back line, Baron Dog and Sandoval. Again, we have a couple of new center backs coming in. We'll probably challenge uh, Estrada. Uh, is the Colombian that I wanted to bring in. Why are they putting in Menchado? Let's compare these guys real quick. Uh, Estrada, Colombian, overview, actually, yeah, shot stopping, distribution, communication. And I don't know, man. Let's take a look at those attributes. Uh, highlight for goalkeeper. Aerial reach. Communi uh, communication, I think, is huge. Um, yeah, I think that's big. One-on-ones is a little bit better. Everything else is roughly even. Passing is much better. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna. I want Estrada starting there, dudes. I want a strut in there. Let's give let's give the Colombian a start. That's why I brought him in. Uh, let's see. Charmoni's on the bench. Okay, Profacio can play central mid. Do I have any other central mid guys? Uh, Pacheco's injured. He's out for about two weeks. And Daniel Rivera is on international duty uh, with Bolivia's under 20s until the middle of February. Uh, as is Mesa and Sadie Flores. That's why Cheek is in. So uh, we are three guys down for international duty. <sighs> and yeah, I want this guy gone. Uh, well, he's he's gone end of the month, I believe. End of the month. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we're going to get him out. Let's go with this. We have a couple of new guys that need some numbers. So now you have numbers. Awesome. No faces. We got one face. There's one dude with a face. All right, morale boost. All right, let's give him that early season Kool-Aid. Well, that didn't really help anybody. All right, cool deal. So remember, we blew away the uh, the league record for uh, cards last year, both yellow and red. So we have something to shoot for this year. <laughs> All right. They're getting the early highlights here, fellas. I'm I'm not excited. Oh, that looked like it went out of bounds. Well, it's early season for the oh, nice tip away, Bengalea. 
lumps it down to Melgar, who's making the run. Crossed in. Nah, Luna Diali lays it back to Oviedo. He drills it inside. Juarez takes a step. Two kicks off the defender for a corner. Some good ball movement there. Juarez not looking real comfortable uh, finding space there. That looks familiar. Takes a step. No. Baron Doug. God dog it. Cheka into the box. Fernandez. He takes a touch. Oh, there's space over there for Oviedo. Oh, it bounces off the keeper. Cleared out. Fernandez makes the run. Nice. All right, Juarez. First set piece. Back out to Juarez. In again. Oh, man. Come on, boys. <laughs> Ooh, somebody took that one right in the schnoz. All right, this is the first corner we're defending. A little nervous, a little nervous. Headed out, Fernandez. All right, does he have any runners? He's got space. Oh, good, good movement. Ah, tackled away. You try to do a little too much, I think, fellas. All right, let's tell him to get creative. All right, Oviedo, Adrian. Laid off to Juarez. Oviedo in some space on the outside. They're, they're taking one touch too long and letting that defender just plant right in front of them, right? Mm. All right, good hustle on the defense. Juarez. Sails it high. Come on, fellas. Push forward. Sounds like I've got somebody at the house. Oh, nice save by Estrada. Laid out for that. Good distribution. Nice touch by Melgar. Lays it off to Luna Diali. Back into Melgar. Oh, good touch. Oh, you got to finish there. You got to finish there. I bet he plays it short. <laughs> Top of the box to Chica. He steps in. Cleared out. Ah, come on. Oh, dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, good stamp away by Oviedo. All right, guys. I had to take a quick break there between during the match, uh, so... Holding the new grandbaby down here. So, all right, over to Oviedo. May not be talking quite as loud because she's sleeping. Fernandez. Oh, come on, guys. Got to get in there. Got to get in there. Not sure what their talent looks like compared to ours, but I'll oh, be nice to be able to pull this in. Oh, touched onto his oh, Juarez. All right, I would say we dominated that half statistically, but only two of 11 shots on target. That is, ugh. all right, let's see. In possession. I want to work. Let's let's try working the ball into the box. Just a slight change. All right. Um, calm. Keep doing what you're doing. Get creative. All right. So we'll see if that. Uh, 
All right, a tight calf. Yeah, let's go ahead and sub him out. It'll be about 10 minutes early, but that's okay. Uh, Profacio. Yeah, there you can see my little granddaughter. Top of her head. Oh, come on, guys. Holy shit, there must be a cat outside because I've got cats over in the window freaking out. Juarez. Oh, good touch inside. Could not finish. Uh, oh, there's. Oh, come on. Nothing here. All right, Profacio picked up a yellow card there. Is that a penalty? Yes, damn it. Oh, come on. We're going to lose on a freaking PK. Shit. Unlucky. Push forward. Let's bring on Charamoni. Um, he can play right and left. Let's bring him on for uh, let's bring him on for Luna Diali. It's okay. Sorry guys, new reality. You might you might get this every once in a while. All right, Adrian picks up his first yellow. Zarate. All right, Adrian. Melgar. Juarez. All right, we got a little space here. Lays it off down the side to Chica. Oh, Charamoni was there. Charamoni was there. Demand more. Juarez off target. Come on, boys. All right. Um, Oviedo at the right back. Tamiri. think okay let's bring Profacio up top and then we'll slide Sigardi into the defensive mid all right Juarez just can't find that net all right let's unpause this let's look at uh, Tactics again. I'm going to take that off again. Oh man, he just manhandled our defender there. Phillips. Come on, boys. Challenge him, man. Challenge him. Oh, you should have jumped all over that freaking ball. All right. I don't think Estrada was really tested. Uh, oh, my God. A heavy touch. Oh, man. That was ugly. That was ugly. Nothing. Shit. All right. Charamoni controls. He's got space. Up the right. Lumps it to the left. Bengalea. Oh, he's got four runners. Please 
find the defender's leg. Yeah, that's that's what we wanted. Yeah. Shit. Push forward. Seven minutes, boys. Oh, oh Condori. Is it a red? Shouldn't be a red. That didn't look bad. A straight red card. Oh, come on. Come on. Um, all right, let's go that route. I'm certainly 21 shots. I think we got jobbed here. Oh, just outside the post. I think we we dominated this match, but just could not get a single break. Oh, nice touch. Melgar from range. That's not good. 11 off target, 12 long shots. Mm. That's it. Well, I take some positives from that, but that's not one of them right there, tripping over the, def the defender. Come on, boys. Steal something here. Nah, it's not going to happen. Be careful, baby. All right, guys. Well, shit. There we go. 24 to 6 on shots. Need to work on that. Maybe it's an early... Maybe it's an early season thing. You don't deserve a rest from that. Yeah, we'll give them a good yell. All right. Uh, do, do. Fernandez just out for a day. Estrada makes his debut. Uh, Bengalea. It was Bengalea that was sent off. Yes, it was. Okay, and it was a straight red. So we're going to fine him two weeks' salary. He accepts his fine, whatever. All right, well, we've got about a week left till we get the rest of our team in here. Uh, let's, I tell you what, I'll come back. Uh, let's come back for the match against Potosi and Guabira. Uh, that'll give a few days for the new guys. I don't know if they'll be with the club that day. They should be, but just to make sure, uh, get a couple of matches under our belt, one match with the rest of the guys, and then we'll come back for a quick turn, uh, and then we'll jump ahead probably uh, into March, and we'll get into the uh, the cup. Ugh, not a great start to the season. Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. Let me know what you think of the new signings. Uh, let me know if you think uh, those guys are going to be worth a darn. And once I get those guys on, then I'm going to reevaluate the squad, kind of take a look at what we, you know, where we have holes, uh, some upgrade available. I'm hoping some of these wingers will come on board because that's definitively a, uh, a need position. I think with, you know, we're back to full strength in the midfield. Uh, so I think we're okay there, and the defensive mid. So Juarez, Profacio, Adrian, Pacheco, Fernandez. We'll have four guys that can rotate those three three positions, or five guys for those three positions. Uh, Flores we need back. Um, 
I believe I'm going to try to go get a right back. I just realized I'm pretty weak there. Uh, we don't really have anybody in the reserves. Actually, I have Vallejos. I mean, he's two-star. He could be worse, right? I mean, he could be worse. I I'm going to put him on the senior squad. That'll give us another right back. But I may go look for somebody uh, just to try to get one more person there. So leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. Let me know what you guys think about uh, the transfers, and we will see you in a couple of matches. Take care, guys. Bye.